Alright, hello world, this is Kim. Welcome to Pinoy Wargamer Plays Satisfactory. Yeah, it's uh it's it's weird because I already started playing <laughs> as you can see. Um I uh I first time I saw this game I loved it and I knew I had to paint myself Constructicons because it's the only way to go. Uh, so here is the complicated mess that is my factory. Um, so the system works like this. This building here oh, it froze. This building here is your hub. This is your main base. This is where you get your objectives to uh, move uh, forward. Right now, obviously, I've completed tier 0 and tier 1 milestones. I'm now just going through jump pads and walkways in tier 2. I don't even plan on using any of these anyway and then here's your storage box right behind me is a craft bench this is where you do all of this stuff now um, how do we start okay uh, here at the back have a automated miner as you can see this is drilling the resource spot and then this conveyor belt uh, takes it into uh, my smelter turns all this ore into ingots which can then be processed these spider thingies it's a portable miner. So let's say we take this one. We can put him yeah, pretty much in any resource. Blah. Very nice animation. Like a cute robot does this. Drills requires no power, so it makes it awesome. And when you when it fills up, uh, cap of a hundred ore, it stops and it automatically restarts. And then what you do is a power pole, apparently. Actually, I apologize. This isn't a smelter. It's a conveyor belt splitter. So what I do, well, what I planned before was um, for the ore to go to two smelters. But then I realized I was dumb. It's actually, or maybe not. <laughs> now that I come to think of it, production is really slow with more coming from just one uh, smelter. Because right now I have one smelter working. Speeding onto these two constructors. This one, the smelter turns the ore into ingots. And the ingots needed by the constructors to turn them into iron rods or on the other side it's uh, iron plates the iron plates and that's our hub in 
then comes out as iron plates, comes out as iron rods. I put them into a merger, belt merger. And they come out here. And I put them into a storage container. And there they are. Now, my production problem is this uh, plate one because it needs two ingots. See, it gets fed one and gets fed another, so it can only do 15 iron plates per minute. The other one produces 15 per minute, really. Okay, if it's both the same, then ideally we should have the same number, right? Uh, I will not bother myself with that. It's a hub, that's my hub. This is container, it's another container. This is uh, equipment workshop where you build your chainsaw, fire gun, and all that good stuff. Boom. And then here's a hub again. You have your personal room. If you die, you respawn here. This is your molecular analysis machine. Oh. Excuse me. Pretty much uh, uh, research the Xeno stuff that you find in the planet. At the back, there's your. This is what I showed earlier. There's your miner. There's your smelter. There's your two product pr produce constructors. I have two at the back biomass burners. So, as you can guess, you can smash down trees, gather leaves, gather wood, plop them into here for power. Oh, I'm almost out here. So I have two. This burner powers this system. It powers the driller, the smelter, these two productors, constructors, that's it. This other one powers a different one. It powers two constructors. This one, it chops wood and turns them into biomass. We have wood, we do. Cool. So we put the wood here. Bam is biomass. Sends the biomass to this other constructor, turns it into biofuel. Here's the workshop that I saw uh, showed you earlier. And goes to this merger, comes from that other workstation, sends it into this container. Uh, and then container gets uh, cables and wires from the other uh, production spot so right now the chore is powering your burners all right that's nearly filled up Okay, you're also newly filled up. So, following this other line, um, this one, the reason why it's separate is because the resource spot is located differently. This driller, no, that's the space tower. That's different. That's uh, different. You send stuff to project assembly. Oh, this one, it uh, it's 
stuff. No, it's not. It's just uh, producing stuff. It uh, mines out copper ore, puts it to the smelter, smelter produces, guess what? Copper ingots. Goes into this constructor, this one turns the ingots into wire. And that is what you see produced here. And here, this belt splits off. This wire goes into another constructor, turns them into cables. Cable splits off, produces here, merges into the wire belt, goes down the line and into this storage container, as you see here. Okay. Um. So now I'm just in the initial stages, copper, limestone, limestone you needed to make cement, uh, iron, copper, limestone, and what's the other one? Oh, just these three. So in the future you will get more as you expand. As for my copper, uh, as for my limestone rig, mm, it's lagging. <laughs> I have it set up here near the space tower. So it's here at the bottom. If it bets the fuel, it's also lagging. This is the lowest settings of my guy. So, smack them with biofuel. What it does, what, do, what happens is a uh, miner drills out limestone ore, goes into the constructor, constructor comes out with cement. That's it. And uh, show you the space tower. It's lagging. Come on. I don't have time for this crap. So you send stuff up. For this one, you need to send uh, 75 reinforced iron plates and rotors, 50 rotors. And then opens up tier two and three for the milestones in the hub but right now I think I'm pretty happy with this production um, while it's doing its thing I just need to go out and, and shop up biomass I believe when you hit the area the Coal becomes easier, but right now uh, let's get these. Uh -huh. I get you. Yeah, carve through for cl just clipping through the rock. like an eco-terrorist <laughs> ruining this for this planet maybe that's a storyline uh, don't ruin or I was hoping that there'd be like some eco-friendly way or something some such but uh, I don't know probably that would be the nice that would have been a nice storyline, huh? You start off wrecking this planet. A planet talks to you. Okay. You're hurting my planet. You're hurting me. Can you please? 
not. And then, since you still need to produce stuff, Planet teaches you to, to do like eco friendly methods. storyline that's all in my head but right now satisfactory is amazing because it allows wow it's got quiet all of a sudden it allows you to automate the stuff and customize factory assembly lines as you see fit you see these foundation things I made them I got the concrete and I made these same with the bug you really don't need to but it looks nice mm, lots of concrete coming in I go back up look at this guy Big stuff in this planet are must are are not hostile. It's those small ones. Those are the annoying ones. Especially if your system lags like this, I'll probably be dead immediately. Uh, what am I doing? I am loading up this bio thing. More wood, please. Um, yep, I guess that is it for the time being. That is my factory. Satisfactory. <laughs> uh, I'll probably just grind through. Although I wouldn't want to bore you guys with the details this is a lot of grinding see 100 cables and all that so i will end this episode here i will come back with uh, some more nice stuff i'll uh, try to play non-laggy oh excuse me i'll try to play non-laggy Bad call, bad uh, texture quality, satisfactory offline. <laughs> yeah, with that, this is Kim. Kick ass with honor, game with glory. I am out. Peace.